Simmons, Disney fans, uh, let me your ears. Uh, Sharif and I are here to talk all about the MCU character bracket. We're gonna dive into the hero side first, and I... Sharif, are you okay? You're dead to me. Oh! Okay, obviously Sharif has some rage that we need to work through. Are you ready? Ah, Sharif smash bracket! Sharif angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. Let's get into this. Hello everyone and welcome to an all new Lend Me Your Ears Bracket. I am your humble host, Melanie, here with the builder of brackets himself, Sharif! And, uh, Sharif has some rage about This is the all worst, you guys. This is the worst. I, uh, our esteemed expert panel obviously has never seen a Marvel movie in their lives, and their tastes are bad, and, uh, their, their prejudices are showing. Pardon me, sir, but I was a part of this expert panel, and I think that my opinions were excellent, and may I just say that it was my intention that the hero side of the bracket have, like, 48, 64 characters, but you, sir, you're the one who said, let's give it down to 32, and that is one of the reasons why you're upset, because that's one of the reasons why a lot of the characters that you love got caught, cut, because we had to get it down to 32. Okay, yes, I did demand that it get cut down to 32, because there are so many filler characters in the Marvel movie universe, okay? Like, they, they introduce characters by the dozen in every movie. We cannot include all these characters, although, we do include some of those filler characters. We include them. There are. The comic relief guys that really like have no business being on any serious bracket, they're right here. There's a couple of fellas, maybe gals, but, but uh, mainly fellas that don't really belong on this bracket. But let me just say that we started with 80 good guys. Yeah. They weren't all super. Right? 83. Was it 83? Yeah. They weren't all supers yeah. per se, but the, just yeah. on the good guy side. And I believe we started with just over 50 bad guys, maybe? There's a whole lot less bad guys. Mm. So it wasn't as hard to whittle down the bad guys, but we'll get into that in our 60 villain some odd bad guys. bracket yeah. video. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's. Let's talk about some of our favorite matchups, some of the people that have no business being on this bracket, sure. some of the people who didn't make the bracket who were upset about. Yeah. Okay? Let's, what do you want to start with? Let's start with our number one seed, because I think the number one seed in both regions is correct. Mm. The number one seed also happens to be the most powerful good guy character in the movies, an alpha level superhero, the God of Thunder. The God of Thunder himself, Thor. Yes. I am not surprised by this because when I was thinking through, before you even gave me the rankings, I was like, who's going to be who number one? Who's going to be number one? It could be Iron Man. It could be Captain America. I was like, but Thor ticks all those very important points, okay? He's powerful. Yes. He's got a great personality. Yes. And he's super duper cool, he is. just in general. And he's goofy. And he's super handsome. I'm he just saying. Handsome. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm just saying that is going to impact the vote a little. Because it's going to impact is, my votes. I only this is one vote thing for handsome people. I wanted to point out is that our panelists were, the majority were male. Just a couple, couple gals, me and my friend Michelle. Michelle, shout out to Michelle. But my voters, I have guy voters, but I have a majority of female voters. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be interesting. We needed more females on the panel. Uh, I, I need you guys to participate when Mel puts out a who wants to be a part of our expert panel. I need you guys to volunteer. We needed more female voices. We need more minority voices. Because um, uh, this panel of mostly wasps was really, really bugging me. This, um, it was a prerequisite, by the way, for them to have watched all the Marvel movies. So they did. They've seen all the Marvel movies, yeah. Sharif. They know what they're doing. Okay, so number one is Thor. Thor, good. He belongs there. Our top five. Thor. Yep. Uh, Captain America. Captain America yep. is two. Iron Man is three. Eh. Sp okay, we're going to get to that. Spider-Man is yep. four. And five is Doctor Strange. That's surprising. Okay, I, a little. I think he'll do well. I don't think he's going to do great. Hmm. But he'll make it to the second round. Maybe. He will. He's got a tough first round matchup. All right, let's let's talk. Let's touch briefly on the people on this bracket that don't belong here at all. Can I sure. can I say my mine? Yes. My big one that I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Is coming in at number thirty, Quicksilver, Pietro Maximoff, in one movie, Age of Ultron. So inconsequential to me, anyway. I don't understand how we made it on this bracket. I feel like there were others who deserved his spot instead. 
Namely, I will say one character that is not here that I'm a little bit upset about is Agent Maria Hill. She is integral to a lot of movies. Maybe integral. not integral. It, whatever. That word. To, in a, but is she? I don't know. I just like Robin Shabatsky, How I Met Your She's Mother. She's awesome, I mean, yeah. Come on. I like Maria Hill a lot. She didn't make it onto the bracket. Tell me some of your anger. Who's Ned? Ned, of Are course, you kidding me right now? The man in the chair. The man in the chair. Why? Spidey's BFF. One, why was he an option for our, our people to vote on? Good He's guy. just a bro. Uh, and two, how did so many people vote for him that he gets in over characters such as Shuri? Uh, look, all I can tell you is that I think that people are taking a lot of different things into consideration. I think they enjoy Ned. It's like... We didn't give them a whole lot of parameters. Like they, we, didn't we didn't tell them, yeah, oh, yeah. you're you're going to give us your thoughts based on who's the most powerful, mm -hmm. who's the smartest. Who, mm -hmm. It's just, which character do you like? And yeah. I think when they watch Ned, they enjoy every moment that he's on the screen. He is very supportive to Peter Parker. He is hilarious. And he made it on the bracket. Yeah, does people he, that are funny do seem to do better for whatever reason. Does he deserve to be on the top 32? That is questionable. Is that, I'm with you. Is that, the, is that the most glaring thing on there? Those two were glaring. Who's 32? 32 is Okoye. Okoye, I, I voted for Okoye. She was on... Maybe by the skin of her teeth. My top 30. My very. I think she is just so kick butt and awesome. And how supportive she is to T'Challa. It's so, amazing. So kick yeah. butt and awesome, and yet below Ned. <laughs> that is true. Like, I don't know how that happened. That just means that Ned got more votes from the panel. Correct. Than... He got more votes oh. in the first round, like in the initial round. Okay. So it's... I put both of them in my first round, but then later when you were asking me to pick, like I didn't, I picked her over Ned. So. You didn't. You they were in the same list. That's the thing. He was a tier higher. That's the problem. We create a tier system uh -huh. uh, where everybody is depending on where they are. So at least we know that they belong in that group. And there are some people that through some sort of weird favoritism, end up in a tier in which they do not belong. For example, for the good guys, tier one was people like Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, um, uh, Black Widow, um, B uh, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, and Pepper Potts. What is Pepper Potts doing on my tier one? Pepper Potts. Okay, I knew we were going to get into this. Pepper Potts got as many votes to be the in the top five of the bracket as Black Panther. Pepper Potts, Black Panther. People are like, oh yeah, same, same. No, not the same. Not the same. Okay, listen. Whoa. Wow, that was amazing. Uh, not the same. And Pepper Potts, let me point out, her matchup is interesting because they are so dissimilar, I don't even know. She's number 11. She's going up against number 22, Falcon. Mm. Oh, yeah. Falcon's going to beat her. How do you compare these two? Like, they are so dissimilar. It's not like you can even compare them. But here is where Pepper Potts is so important. What's the saying? That the man is nothing without the woman behind him, right? Iron Man would not be who he is if it were not for the support and love behind coming from Pepper Potts. Mm. And what is Iron Man? A what, bro, you don't like a Iron rich Man bro. Very much either. I'm surprised that he's three. Honestly, I I'm thought he'd be three. one or two. Oh, I'm surprised he's that high. Uh, the fact that he cracked the top five is surprising to me. Uh, uh, I, I don't. What? He's surrounded what? by so much more interesting characters. He's the first. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. I know you people he's like him. He's the first and the last. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. He defeats Thanos in the end, sacrificing her himself <clears throat> for everyone. Yeah. Thank goodness he's gone. Am I right, he's guys? Very, oh, he's very, very important. Are you telling me really that you really don't like Iron Man? I'm or are you Iron just Man. upset that he is as high as he is? No, I'm, I, no, I mean like I, have, I don't dislike Iron Man, but I, there's nothing exciting about Iron Man. He's, he's a guy in a suit. Anybody could do that job. Oh, but he's extremely bright and brilliant. Like, yeah. not everyone could do... He created his own element in yeah. Iron Man 2. Yeah, fine. <laughs> I happen to like superheroes like that. Like, we're not going to talk about that Batman guy because he's from the other comic yeah. universe. Also pointless. But I... See, I like superheroes that don't have any superhuman ability. Mm. Uh, to me, he's just I, very I think rich. there's something special. There's something interesting and intriguing about that. 
Okay. You disagree. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, yeah. let's talk about some of the matchups that we think are going to be very tight, possibly even upsets. Pepper Potts versus Falcon. Falcon. You think Falcon is going to take Pepper Potts? If, if he does not, I'm going to be very upset with you, the viewers, just as I'm upset with you, the panelists. Now, listen, here's the only thing. See, normally I would say no way. No way does he take out Pepper Potts. But... With the popularity yes. of the current new show, baby. show, Falcon and Winter Soldier, which I am caught up on. I just finished the third episode last night. You may have a point there. But Winter Soldier will not make it past the second round. Yeah, he Winter Soldier is going up against. number 26, going up against number 7, the Hulk. Rough going. Which, as I'm putting this together and doing all my pictures, I'm like, maybe we should have made two characters. Maybe it should have been Dr. Banner and the Hulk because they... I know they're within the same person, but they're both so different and offer completely different things as heroes in the MCU. Sure. Do you think we should have done that? So I, I when I was asking people, I, I said Hulk, Dr. Banner. So, you know, Bruce Banner, right, so right. they know. Um, yeah, the, it is essentially a different character because he, he cannot be Bruce Banner while he's the Hulk. Except for he kind of is an endgame, and that's what ruins the Hulk for me. Totally ruins it. I didn't love Sorry, Endgame. I, I, uh, I did not love Endgame in general. I cut you off there. No, I, it's okay. So Endgame is fine. I prefer Infinity War. Yeah. We're in the minority here because I put this out on my social. I saw it. And like everyone said they preferred Endgame. I have lots. I have multiple problems with Endgame. Whereas to me, Infinity War is a perfect <laughs> movie viewing experience. And, it, and it just leaves you wanting more. One of my number one gripes with Endgame is this smart Hulk guy. Damn, you want a picture? Ugh. He is not as smart as Bruce Banner, which is obvious when he tries to do the whole like time travel thing and Scott comes back as like a baby and an old man. He is not as smart as Bruce Banner and he is not as strong as the Hulk. He's worthless and I don't like him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that He's is lukewarm. I spit him out of my I mouth. What have to say about that? I probably wouldn't vote for Hulk past the second round because of that and because of the fact that his movie is terrible. With Edward Norton, and I don't. I love that Edward Norton movie, but that's no longer canon, right? It is. It is technically oh. a part of the Marvel Cinematic. Universe. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, but Hulk, it, it is. It okay. is canon in okay. the MCU, but I just I didn't like it. Oh, I, see, I actually liked that movie. I thought that <gasps> Edward Norton much better Hulk. <gasps> much. Hot take. Not Hot not take! not a little bit better. Much what? better. Sorry, no, I cannot get on board with you with this. But just in general, the fact that it's such a huge character in the MCU, played by different people with that other movie that just feels disjointed from the rest of it, I can't get behind Hulk and Smart Hulk. I can't do it. Sure, okay. Sure. How do you feel about mm -hmm. Drax, number 21, going up against the Scarlet Witch, number 12? Well, Scarlet Witch is going to take him down so Agreed. easily. Agreed. But Drax is another one that I was kind of like... Really? Yeah. Top 32? Yeah, yeah. I like Drax. And when you guys vote on this one, like, you may not even see him because he's so incredibly still in the picture I chose. <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't understand why he is 21. Like, yeah. he's one that I could see being, like, upper 20s, low 30s on this he's bracket. Behind, he's in front of Gamora, a much more interesting character. That's, that is... That's a crime, for sure. I didn't think about that. Oh yep. my gosh, Gamora is 23. He's in front of War Machine, who I, I really like. I like War Machine, um, but hold on. Yes. Let's not move on from this yet. Scarlet Witch is going to do well on this bracket. Once again, because... With, with the popularity of WandaVision, which we aren't taking into consideration anything that happened in WandaVision, because that's technically phase four, and what we're doing in the bracket one three. is one through three, the mm -hmm. Infinity Saga. But she is, and honestly, she shouldn't even be listed here as Scarlet Witch. She should be listed as Wanda Maximoff, because she didn't get her moniker of Scarlet Witch until WandaVision. Mm. It's actually hard for me to find a picture of her that wasn't from WandaVision. Like, I had to search through flooded. and find one from Age of Ultron, or um, Civil War or something like that. But she's going to take out Drax easily. She's so much more endeared to people, I think, after WandaVision. All right, here's a tough one. Yeah. The 15 versus 18, Rocket versus Hawkeye. That would be easy for me. Who would you pick? Rocket. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Okay. But people seem to love Hawkeye, another bro that shoots arrows super well. I don't dislike Hawkeye. I really like Jeremy Renner a yeah, lot. Yeah, see, like, there you go, yeah. He's really cool. Mm -hmm. He's also kick butt. Have you seen uh, Tag? Have I seen what? The movie Tag. No. 
He's in tag. He's really good. You know, honestly, I haven't seen him in a lot, but what I've seen him in, I like. I've seen him in Hawkeye, and then he's in that one in Mission Impossible movie. I really Watch like tag. him in that. Okay. You're really going to like tag. Tag, you're it. Yeah, like that. that's like that. essentially a movie. I've heard of this. It's grown people playing tag. Grown people playing Maybe tag. Maybe I have seen this. I think I have seen this, and the I really enjoy it. The story there is that he broke his arm on, like, the second day of shooting, and so he they, like, had to green screen his arms for the rest of the movie. Yeah, it's oh wild. my gosh. So you never see him like... I'm going to have to re-watch it. I, so good. It's ringing a bell. I think I did watch it. But no, I think Rocket will take that easily. Rocket isn't one of my super duper favorites. I but, do like Rocket Raccoon a lot. But neither is Hawkeye. I think they are appropriately seated for okay. once. Now let's okay. move up once because we did mention Gamora. Yeah. She's going up against Nick Fury. And if I'm being honest, I think that could be an upset. Oh, really? I really do. Okay. I mean... Nick Fury. Where is... The godfather of S.H.I.E.L.D. Where is Gamora? Who is Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. You don't remember this? Okay, Drax is like, I'll do you one better. Why Gamora? Oh. Okay, it's it's funny. It's fu You get it, right? You get it. You're I'm with sure you me. do. Yeah, you guys are no, much but, more connected. Uh, little fun fact. Have you noticed that there's been all of this kind of... Um, back and forth between what is the number one movie of all time, Endgame or Avatar, Endgame or Avatar. And Endgame was at the top, but I don't know if they like re release Avatar or something, but it just took back its place at the top. In terms of dollars? Who's in both those movies? Yes. Who's in both those movies? The Lady of the Pink Gamora? Zoe Zaldana. That's her name. I wouldn't have come up with that. Gamora. I don't remember her name in Avatar, it's but fine. she is one of the oh, Navi. That's their name, the Navi. So I think she's going to take out Nick Fury, personally. I'm what just talking think? to the camera. Yeah, okay. no. Uh, I don't, I mean, Nick Fury, geez, a pedo. Sam Jackson, one of my favorite actors of all time, playing an incredible role and playing it incredibly. Uh, I really like Gamora. My man, Nick Fury, man. I'm telling you, my vote would go for Gamora. Okay. I don't, I don't okay. know what the people, the fine folks are going to do at home. Yeah. But my vote would personally go for Gamora. I think she is just so awesome. I love her story arc. I yeah. love everything with Nebula, who's not on the hero bracket. Which because is, she's a villain. I, no, no, no. I'm enraged by this. If we're going to talk, you come back for the villain video, we're going to talk about it. I, I'll put on the Hulk hands. I'm enraged. Okay. Gamora might be an upset, in my opinion. Let's talk about Agent Coulson and Heimdall. They're that 17-16 matchup. Usually very close. Usually very close. And I'm honestly, I think I know what I would do. I think I'd go Heimdall. <gasps> no! I love Heimdall. One of my favorite as Guardians. And I'm going to vote Agent Coulson. What? Of all the non-powered people on this bracket, Agent Coulson's my favorite. Okay, what is it about? Is it just the fact that he died and brought all the Avengers together? And Maybe. Is that what it is for you? He's funny. He's fun. He's, he's like funny? fearlessly funny. taking on Loki. Um, come on. It's... I like him. I think I like the stoic... Heimdall more and the wisdom and the all seeing yeah. and the and the um Bifrost. The Bifrost and I, I just yeah. think that he's huge sword. really, really cool. Heimdall like is super cool. Idris Elba also. Yeah, I know, Idris um, Elba for real. For real. <laughs> Have you seen The Wire? No. Oh man. Idris Elba, a young Idris Elba. Really? Yeah, playing a drug dealer from uh, uh Baltimore. I'm Wow, you're you're telling me about all these things I need to watch. Yeah. I'm gonna have watch a lot tag on first. my plate. That's easy. I still have a couple of MCU movies I have to catch up on. So can oh, I get okay. through with yeah, that yeah, too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot. Of, so lot that of one's time. gonna be tight. We are a house divided on that mm -hmm. one. Do you have? Is anything else glaring to you? Star Lord, Agent Carter. Star Lord's gonna take oh, it. Oh, Star Lord's gonna take yeah. that. Easy, easy peasy. Happy Hogan versus Groot. Happy Hogan versus Groot. You're upset about Happy Hogan. I'm so Let's upset. Talk. But he's number nineteen. <laughs> number nineteen, you guys. He deserves it. Number 19. He deserves it. I'm going to stand by that. Agent Carter's number 20. Again. Agent so Carter? Happy Hogan over Agent Carter? Absolutely. Absolutely. Peggy Carter. She's one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. But outside of that, I mean, I guess she is a soldier. She's an agent, whatever. Captain America goes back in time and stays back in time for her. Yeah, but she's like in one movie. I know she had her own series, too. I didn't watch she it. Did. But Agent Carter. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't see a ton of appeal there with her. Happy Hogan, though, again, so supportive to Iron Man, and I think he is placed so high because this is part of my uh, motivation for voting for him. It's John Favreau. He directed the first Iron Man movie. He kicked off the entire Marvel mm -hmm, Cinematic mm -hmm. Universe I love with John that Favreau. movie. Tremendous Heart actor, great director, producer. If Happy Hogan hadn't been here. played by John Favreau, I would not 
have voted for him. The actor matters. It's true. The actor matters. The actor it, matters. it really, really does. Yeah. Now, you're also upset. What else are you upset about? I think there was something else. I do think Groot will beat Happy Hogan. I so hope you don't so. have to worry about that. Groot is one of my all time favorites. I am Groot. And here's what's interesting about Groot is that I have read that, like, baby Groot and adolescent Groot is not the same as grown up Groot from the original Guardians of the Galaxy. What do you mean it's that's almost the same? like his child. Like, baby Groot mm. and adolescent Groot would not have the memories that grown-up Groot had from okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, he was an offshoot, almost like a child. Sure, he so, was a branch step. I don't know how you want to vote on that. I, <laughs> I did think that we should have Groot and baby Groot, but and I thought that Groot. baby Groot people like, were just heartstrings. But heartstrings. then he's not baby Groot later. Like, in yeah. Infinity War and Endgame, he's older. Like, would you have a... I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That, however you want to vote the Groot for Groot The Groot character is, is very fun. I Groot is wonderful. And the collector's reaction to Groot, when you die, may I have your body? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, fun. how about, okay, this is not grown-up group from Guardians, but how about the fact that his arm, like, he cuts off his arm to be the handle for Thor's new weapon, Hammer, yeah. which, wow, the name is escaping me right now. It's going to come to me later. The new one? I don't remember what the new one is. Stormbreaker! Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. Groot's arm is Stormbreaker. I think that's awesome. When Groot dusts and he's like, I am Groot. Like, the Russo brothers said that he was actually saying, Dad, to Rocket? <laughs> Just break my heart right now! Groot's wonderful. He Groot saves them cool. all in the first Guardians. Um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about how low-seated Captain Marvel is at 28. You're angry about this, too. And we're going to argue about it a little bit. Legitimately might be the, my biggest gripe with the entire bracket. Like, I'm I'm really upset about Shuri. I'm really upset about oh, freaking happy, not... happy Hogan. Yeah, Shuri's not on the bracket, guys. Don't like, look forward to not voting for Shuri. Yeah, totally cool. Whatever. Uh, yeah, is, isn't she brilliant like Iron Man? No? Not cool? All right, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, well, do you want me to interject about my thoughts about Shuri before we move on to yeah, Captain Marvel? Yeah, do it, do it. I personally find Shuri a little bit obnoxious. Oh I think she's she's so young and she's a little bit immature and everything she says is very like, I'm so cool and I know everything. I'm and when she's like, to Bruce Banner, she's all like, I'm sure you did your best. I just don't be like, what? what? They are living on a mountain of vibranium like you are, Shuri. What, what do you want from them? Happy? You good? I feel better. You're through? All right. <laughs> Shuri's an incredible character. All right, she's... She's brilliant. She's 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 Black Panther's younger sister. Yeah. She looks up to him. She helps him. Once again, integral and yet a power in her own. A strong, independent, brilliant black thing. woman. You say strong, but like she looks like she's twelve when she comes out in Endgame and she's got those things and her arms are like so. She sure. Looks like she's yes, 12. she's diminutive and yet she stands there and fights. I, I can't get on board with her. Even though she's not she a just, fighter. She just gets under my skin. A little bit. Like, I don't hate her. She's She's a little sister. But I didn't That's like point. her enough to get... Well, okay. I, I don't have a little sister, so I don't know. But she just wasn't my favorite. I, I didn't... Yeah, so were you, yeah, buddy. But Captain Marvel... Yeah. You also, like, I also do not Love care Captain for Marvel. Ca so much. Captain Marvel, again, maybe the second most powerful person sure. in the good guy's part of the bracket. Okay, we talked about how Thor has the power. And he's cool, and he's good looking, whatever. She's got, she's got all of that, except for one thing that Thor has, like an abundance of that she has none of, is personality. She's got personality. No, she's just not she funny like is Thor. Dry and oh, stale and boring, man. and I just I don't enjoy. I liked the movie, her movie, but I wasn't like, oh, I love this character. Like she's so great. And it was and, cool that they brought her in as like the ace in the hole in Endgame. Okay, that was cool. But they did her a disservice because she got much less movie time than almost everybody else. She has her movie, and then she comes in for like the last 15 minutes of Endgame. That's it. So you don't well, she's really... at the beginning of Endgame too. She's at the very beginning. Okay. She's there, and she they, she goes with them when they go and like confront Thanos and. Okay, I don't remember that, but I believe you. Okay. It's been a, it's been you a hot second. You should believe me. I'm right. Yeah. Uh, but she just gets so much less screen time, so you don't get the chance to know her as much. You're much more familiar with the other characters, and I think that hurt her in this bracket. I'm sorry, I voted for her every chance I could, but here we are, she's at 28. I think there was so much buildup from her film 
the like, oh, she's gonna like kick butt, she's gonna be amazing. And, and she does, and she does. But, they, but to your point, they didn't utilize her as much as I wanted yeah. them to. Yeah. She comes in, she does like fly through Thanos' ship and like crash it or whatever, and she holds her own, but it wasn't like she defeated the whole force of everything. Like she is very, very powerful. Well, that's the thing about Captain Marvel's powers are a one-on-one. -on -one. That's why she was good to fight Thanos, whereas Thor is the sort of guy that fights multitudes. Uh, there's, just, you know, it's just a different sort of power. Let's talk for a moment. Real real quick moment mm -hmm. about Thor, because I think we're rounding out all the things that we wanted to touch on. Mm -hmm. We talked about how I disliked smart Hulk. Yeah. What were your thoughts on fat, fat Thor? Depressed Thor really spoke to me. Uh, I mean, really, just it... it it makes so much sense. Here's a man who has lost his his homeland. He has, in his own mind, let down his father, uh, and and been defeated by his his older sister. It's, it is. I I fully fully understand what he was going through. And listen, guys, depression is real. Okay, all of us, especially right now during Corona, speaking very really, really, um, it's it's hard. It's hard, and sometimes we go through things and. Uh, you can overeat, you can be low energy, sleep too much, and, and you could go from being a god of thunder to a god of chugging beers. Um, and and that, that's why we need to go see counselors if we need to, and that there are doctors, and, uh, and there's no shame in it. Um, Listen here, sir. Yeah. I have to tell you that I completely agree with yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. I thought you might. I thought you I, might. There was so much like controversy about this, and some people absolutely hated that they did that to Thor's character. Some people thought that what at the end, like right before the Battle of Earth, when he like you know harnesses the power of Thor, that he should have become thin again. I'm like, no, that would totally have cheapened everything that he went through. Yeah, like, yeah. I personally liked the choice, and I'm not sure who was all up in arms about it. If it was people that were like, oh, Thor's not like hot anymore. Like, no, like He's who cares? He's Still, Thor. Yeah. I love it when he does go back in the time machine with Rocket and he talks with his mother. Yeah, I think that, that was so great. sweet. Yeah. And when he like calls for uh, Mjolnir. Yeah, Mjolnir. And it comes to him and he's like, I am still worthy. I I had no qualms with Fat Thor at all. Yeah. Like I did have qualms with Smart Hulk. So, sir, unless there's any other matchup that you wanted to talk about, I am anxious. I am also anxious and excited. Voting starts today. By the time you watch this video, it will have already begun. Yeah. One villain matchup and one hero matchup every single day on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, and most lately, I'm going to experiment with TikTok a little bit. Um, I don't approve, but it's fun. I'm going to try it out. Just trying to, you know, yeah. reach a different you audience. You tried Twitter too, so I mean, yeah, and respect. And Twitter has been a huge bummer, but I'm using it with this particularly because you can tag the actors yeah. and a lot of them are on Twitter. Yeah. So I'm, I'm doing that with Twitter this time. So go find me. If you search up Lemme Your Ears, you should be able to find me on any of those platforms. You guys, we will see you on social media. Vote every single day. Tell your friends. It's going to be awesome. And, and come back. We're doing a villain's bracket here in just a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another come video. back for the villain video because we have words about that as well. All right, guys. Until next time, Sharif and Melanie saying... Get hyped! Goodbye! <laughs>